Hello everyone, as usual this is Matt, but yeah I might notice things are a little bit different today. But first and, yeah, first and foremost, welcome to the sixth part of my Hellbound playthrough. So what's so different today is I'm no longer trying to do the VTuber thing, so yeah I just ditched the model and going forward the videos are just gonna be more regular commented gameplay like you know what's more standard anyway yeah i'm not gonna talk too much about the decision to move away from being a vtuber but yeah i already made a video about this but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the videos anyway because yeah i'm doing them with the same intent but just showing cool stuff up to other people anyway Since, yeah, since I'm no longer doing the YouTuber thing, uh, I expect, yeah, you can expect some other stuff going on in this channel, but it's gonna be mostly just Doom like usual because that's what I like. Um, okay. I'll have to prank these guys. Yeah, again, this is a map I am mostly familiar with. Because, yeah, Halbon's earlier maps are really not too hard to actually navigate. Which is good. I like them for that. Okay, blue key required for that. And, yeah, let me switch over to the hammerite. Okay, I need those shells. Yeah, good, yeah, good rhythm this one. Not such a good hit, but huh, whatever. What matters is I can bonk as many monsters as I want. Right, so since this is mass 6, we finally get our slot 6 weapon. Which is. What was it called again? Yeah, the Aeros Layer minigun. I wonder if that is like a metal, like a metal band reference. But yeah, I'm gonna save it for later. I might as well turn the flashlight on. Oh, we have two cackles here. I thought it was just gonna be one. Yeah, give me that. What is in here? Huh. Oh, there's like a little side room with some goodies. And a particularly agitated skeleton. Another one? Okay. Anything I'm missing here? No, not really. Yeah, I like the way these rooms are connected. They look pretty good. Well, I suppose it's time to go to the other side of this little entry hall, I guess. And again, we have a pretty good MIDI in the background. Which is from Kian uh, Team. I think this is one from. I think it's the same MIDI that's used in Wormhole. Could be wrong, could be right. But it fits. Because I do think this is like. Okay, Berserk. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. But it fits me since, you know, it's a laboratory and there's definitely some warping around going on later. Not right now. Okay, nothing too crazy going on here. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a secret right here, I think. Yeah, again, the flashlight is more for ac accessibility purposes than anything. And again, hitting monsters with the hemorrhite is always fun. And there's even a little bit of area of like, damage on this one. Now that I have the Berserk. Yeah, what can I say? I uh, just like the, you, the way the hemorrhoid feels. Okay. Oh yeah, that's where we're going, by the way. It's gonna be a little while since, until we actually get there, but it should be fine. Yeah, plenty of ammo for the minigun, which I will not use right away. Okay, blue key card found. Yeah, there's like four secrets in this map. I only know where maybe one is. Um, okay. Yeah, might as well come back for a little bit of help. No, oh, I didn't even need to take damage there, but yeah, chill little chill late. Huh, okay. Well, I already went there, so... Yeah, no use going that way now, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, uh, might as well just go back the way I came, because... Okay, 240 rounds for the minigun. It's nothing just needs it. Okay. Gotta love just how far monsters get pushed when you hit them with the hammer, right? Might as well be the closest to how much ragdolls you can get in Doom. Okay, never mind that. It's just a bunch of Hell Knights, I think. Yeah, two of them. And she finished things off in style. That one gets monked. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to come over this way anyway. I think we have a secret back there. No clue how to actually get to it, but yeah, that's kinda just how it is. Yeah, I completely forgot looking for the red. Yeah, the red key card. I think it's one of those observation wings type plays. Yeah, I think it's right here. Yep, there it is. Yeah, ignore that. That's just Jesus Doom spazzing out a little. Because there's some um, living room being trickery made to 
No, just to make those windows work, I guess. Well, I guess it's time for us to go to the gateway proper. With Trident 30 rounds, um, or, um, whatever the minigun uses, it should be enough. Yeah, I might want to stock up a little. And okay. Create a minigun ammo. Yeah. Well, this is it. Yeah. yeah it's just time. Yeah, you can just like stand here and dump all your ammo if you want. Eventually more monsters will spawn, but all of them are gonna come out of that teleporter. And make a pretty futile attempt to actually kill you. Well, I'm sure not your balance is worse. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I'm kind of taking some damage, but uh, not really a big deal, I think. Yeah, I can just like mac down to your house content here. And yeah, that's all the monsters here. And when you come in here, yeah, if I remember right, this is a death exit. So yeah, that's the end of Gateway Lab. But you know, map seven, yeah, go from map six to map seven. There is a little bit of a text, so and train the woods. Your path led you to a secret UAC lab infested with demons. The gateway looks operational and intact, so you will enter into the thrilling madness wondering where it will take you. Seems like most of your equipment seems like most of your equipment ended up being someplace else. According to nearby computers, there are several interconnecting UAC facilities nearby. You suspect the source of the invasion might be in one of them. And yeah, on that note, yeah, I'm gonna call it done for today. So yeah, like usual, this has been Matt. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video in which I'm gonna be playing through the woods. So see you there.